Hey everyone, I'm Angela and on this channel I review only silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair and other beauty related topics. Now let's get acquainted with Hallie by Envy in medium gray, right here right now on Silver Linings. Well, as I mentioned in my opening, sometimes I do talk about the care of our natural gray hair. And thankfully, if you follow me, I don't know if you've noticed, but my hair has been coming in more and more lately, and I'm so thankful for that. And so occasionally you'll, you'll see me talk about products that I really feel have helped me either grow my hair thicker or make the, mess, or make the most of the hair that I have. But let's pivot right now and let's talk about Hallie. I'm so excited for this wig because I really do love a bob. I love things that hit us right at the chin area or maybe a little bit below. My favorite is something that hits just right there at the collarbone level, right around there. And on my last video, I think I mentioned to you that I was going to order her. She did come in. Here's a look at how Hallie looked uh, in the picture before I decided to purchase her. And I just love the, I love how it's casual looking. Uh, the price point was good. And so I'm just taking a chance and I love Envy wigs. So as I mentioned last week, I was going to order Hallie and obviously she is here. I really, really like Hallie. I've always I'm partial to a bob. Anything that kind of comes right here, maybe a little bit longer down to our collarbone, I think is very flattering on an older woman. Very classic, very traditional. Can dress her up. Just leave her the way she is. And just a very, very practical wig. She is layered um, somewhat throughout. If you really, if you had her in your hand, you'd be able to see. It's not a blunt cut. Uh, it is layered. You could shake it. Very easy to put on your head. Shake and absolutely go. A little bit later on, I'll do a little styling, put a headband on her. But if you look at the picture here, uh, let me share my screen with you. You could see that, um, blow this up. You could see that Hallie is first of all the way they have Hallie styled you can see how they flip her out on the edges I'm not sure they might have used some kind of a tool to do that but out of the box she's gonna come right down um, underneath your chin she's gonna come right there depending upon how long your head is from your hairline to your chin and I have my specs down below but she really is I think just a traditional easy to wear put her on your head and and go now the cap construction you're going to see a little bit later on i went outside in natural light and so that you could see the outside of the wig in natural light and the cap construction also in natural light but she does have a beautiful mono top everybody so you're going to be able to part her in the middle you're going to be able to part her on the right, anywhere where that mono top is, you're going to be able to. I parted her on the left. You can also part her on the right. You could just split her right down the middle if that's what you if that's what you like, and I kind of like her parted the other way but just play with it and then the you can see the scalp it really has a very very realistic very realistic scalp you can because of that monofilament it looks like you're looking right down into the scalp or that your hair is growing right out of your scalp and i love that You can see she's also a little razored on the edges. So she does have a little bit of an edge to her. There you can see those, you can see those layers a little bit better. And again, I would just play with her, mess her up. I think the messier she is, the better she's going, the better, the better she's going to look. 
So her measurements, let's take a look at her measurements real quick here. Her measurements are, first of all, she's an average size cap. Now, my head runs on the large side of average, so I'm average to large. She's a little tight on me, so depending upon, measure your head before you order. And the front is four and three quarters. This front here is four and three quarters. The crown, seven and a half. The sides are four and three quarters. And the nape is four inches. She only weighs two point, as you can see here, eight three ounces. So she's very, very lightweight and very lightweight, and she is a synthetic wig. So I think she's beautiful. And if you also, one other thing I want to show you here, I think that they took this picture outside because when you go outside, whenever there's white fibers in a wig, this, this is what you get here, this look right here. You get this, you get this white, it just pops in the sunlight. And it is not too shiny. Again, if you get a wig and it's too shiny, hit it with some baby powder and, or Batiste um, dry shampoo and that'll knock that shine right down without, without ruining the, the look of the wig. But anyway, as I said, I really do think that she must have been standing in the light and, or she had a light aimed right on, right on that wig. So this color is medium gray. This is a medium gray. Now, the first time that I ordered an Envy wig, I ordered Eve and I ordered her in two colors. I ordered her in this color and I ordered her in light gray. Light gray ended up looking more like a white, uh, but I did keep the white one and if you follow. And so here's a look at Envy that I purchased several years ago. I think it was one of my first purchases when I knew absolutely nothing. And um, as I said, Envy is no longer with us. Envy is with my mother. Um, we, we buried my mother in Envy about this time last year. And so you can see here that I have this same color the medium gray, and I ended up sending the medium gray back. I shouldn't have done that. All, all I have learned in my last three years is that I do love white wigs, but I also enjoy something that has some depth of color. And you can see that on, on this color of Eve. So let me now show you this same uh, Envy in a different style. There is Eve in the white. So we have Eve in the white and we have Eve in the same color as this medium gray. And here you can really see the difference. I hope that you can see the difference between the white. The, the, the white in Envy there is really a light gray, but it's to your eye, it's going to look white. It's almost exactly like my hair now, which is why I still do like the white, but just so you see the difference between the colors right and also the styles Eve by the way is still available I'll put a link below if you love her okay so basically my thoughts about this wig are that as I said at the beginning she she's a bob she's practical she's traditional she's easy to wear she feels good on your head she's very very realistic um this part right here she does have kind of a heaviness to her up here so if I were going to keep this wig I would probably have this part right there thinned out just there and because my forehead is obviously shorter than the models, I would have to um, have those bangs 
cut a little bit, not too much, but just cut a little bit. I probably could even do it myself. So, but because this wig is a little tight on me, I may put her in my online store. Okay, but the density is wonderful. Very, very comfortable. And the color, lots of, lots of gray, lots of white, um, sprinkled in with some dark. So really, really very, very believable. So Hallie by Envy, to me, is a hit. She's wearable by lots of different people. I think she'll look great on a lot of different people. And let me show you one other thing here. Here you can see Petite Page by Envy in the same color. Now Petite Page, you can see she's longer. She's coming almost down to the color bo collarbone. She's going to swing a little bit when you move your head. I love Petite Page. Problem with Petite Page is she's too petite for my head. Petite, Angela. Petite. She's Petite Page. <laughs> But I do love this wig, and um, but she's too small. So I do have an announcement. Petite Page is, drum roll please, going to go into my wig store. Yes, my wig store is just, or my wig shop, my wig shop, I should say, is just about ready. I've been working on it for the last week, two weeks, and uh, have a little ways to go, but I think I will launch the wig store on Saturday. I think I can promise Saturday. And right now, you see Petite Page is right there for $99. So if you're interested in gently used wigs, most of these wigs that I'm going to be selling are only wigs that I use for review. They just were on my head for a half an hour, maybe an hour, and then got a comb out, a spritz of uh, Simply Styling to keep it nice and fresh in the box, and goes back on the shelf. So right now I'll be selling um, uh, pay, Petite Page and then Amaretto by Beltras and the Coconut Silver Blonde and um, Alva by Noriko. Now I wanted to show you Alva by Noriko today because Alva, this wig here reminds me a little bit of Alva, but this wig here, um, Hallie, has a mono top. So she's got a beautiful top. And when you first, when you first get Hallie, you're going to see that, you know, that the parting, how they have that honeycomb, not honeycomb, they had that crisscross parting in there. And then you're just going to comb that out and part her wherever you want. So big announcement. 
my store will be ready please God for Saturday because I've got way too many wigs that can bless other people so if you're interested in purchasing Hallie for yourself head over to LA Wig Company I've linked it for you below I'm so glad to have you with me today and I hope if you like this video you will give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and as always everybody look for the silver linings they're everywhere bye bye <laughs>